Well, hello, Aries. How's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Tula Divine's channel. What is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to see the least for you guys for December 1st, the 16th. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get started. So the first Oracle card that's coming up for you guys says business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So great. So if you guys have been thinking about starting a new business, um, going back into a business, I feel like this is just coming through as validation that for the month of December, you should be really aiming your attention towards your career, your job. Um, yeah, like if it doesn't even have to be a business outside of the home, like if you're really like wanting to start a business at home, I feel like this is also validation that you, you really need to listen to yourself right now in regards to that. Like if you know you have, I don't even know if it's a calling, but if you know that you want to start an online business or a business from home because working outside of the home is not an option, then again, I feel like this is just a lot of validation coming through that your career or your business of your choice is is what you need to be working on right now. Um, but lots and lots of career stuff, lots of, lots of business stuff coming through right now. And I mean, it says your desires within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. So, you know, whatever decision you make when it comes to career, business, job, I feel like you guys know what you need right now. You know what you want. You're working towards that. So just keep doing what you're doing and things will work in your favor. All right. So what I'm picking up is that, um, whew, I gotta breathe for a second. Um, you guys are in this place where I feel like there's some type of decision that you need to make. There's a situation and I feel like what's happening is that you're really in your head about it. You're very, I, you're very I, depressed. Depression is coming through. So some of you could be dealing with depression in December. Um, you feel very alone. You feel very unworthy. You're having a lot of anxiety about things. You're fearing a lot of things. You're in your head. It's just this feeling of, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. I don't know who to lean on. I, I just feel like I can't do this on my own anymore. So I don't know who this is for, but you know, spirit is trying to offer you something. God is trying to offer you something. And I feel like what's happening is that you feel like you don't deserve it. That's what it is. Aries, you feel like you don't deserve to be happy. You feel like you don't deserve to be loved, but that is an, that, that is your fear. That anxiety, what I just said, like that, you deserve happiness. You deserve love. Why do you feel like you don't deserve that? Like that's coming in really strong. Like I literally feel like my heart is actually hurting. So this tells me that someone is literally in their thoughts, in their emotions right now with a four of cups and the five of cups coming through. You're overthinking something and you're afraid of something. So it's like, you're kind of sitting there daydreaming. Like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Whew. Very, very, very heavy, heavy feeling, guys. Wow. I don't know what's going on with you guys, but just know, like, judgment comes right after that four of cups. So with the judgment coming through, what I feel is that you guys are really on the same track. You could be going through a karmic cycle and this is really draining you. You could be in this, you know, this energy of, I really need to leave this person. I needed to disconnect from this person, but I have still so much love for this person that I don't want to let go, but you know that they're not for you. They're no, you know that they're not right for you, but holding on to them is really keeping you. <sighs> you're not yourself. I feel like for somebody you're holding on to someone, but you know, this person isn't for you anymore. You may still love them. You may still have strong feelings for them, but you know that they're not the one for you. And holding on to them is keeping you from anything new. But if you need to understand that you, if you are going through a karmic cycle, if you are going through a cycle where, you know, you're having a hard time getting out of something, I feel like you need to know that anyone who has ever done anything wrong to you, they will get what they deserve, but you have to remain true to who you are, what your values are, and what your core beliefs are. That's what I'm hearing, Aries, right? You have money being returned to you. That was the first message with the Seven of Pentacles coming up. 
you have money returning to you. You have money that's coming towards you that's being owned to you. I also feel like there's offers coming through for you guys. Um, this, this could just be money or this could be money and love or just love. But I feel like what's happening is that you need to decide what you need right now. You know, what does Aries need? And you need to start there because things are going to pay themselves off. You know, you have the seven of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. So you have freedom. You, if you don't feel it, you will be feeling it. Because I feel a sense of independence. I feel a sense of prosperity. I, I feel a sense of once you get away from what you need to get away from, once you walk away from something, once you realize that you can't let go and be happy, it's like you gain. You gain something. You become stable. You become free. You know, some of you could be pregnant and, you know, you were scared to leave a situation because you didn't want the baby to be harmed or you didn't want yourself to be harmed or... It's a crazy energy, but it's like once you leave something, greater things come ahead. And I mean, we go into this card talks about everything like menopause, a thriving business. Your business could be thriving in the month of December. I feel like, you know, if you've been really working hard on at like improving your life, improving your money, improving your health, you know, I feel like the hard work right now in the month of December, it's going to pay off. That's what's what I'm hearing. So you could even be planning your retirement. Um, but yeah, I just get a sense of prosperity. I get a sense of abundance, blessings. Like I feel like majority of you all is really, truly well. And that's an amazing feeling, but you got to watch because I feel like you guys with the King of Wands, this, this talks about someone who's very strong, you know, so this could be you, this could be the person you're dealing with, but you know, on one side, the King of Wands talks about someone who's really honest, someone who's really passionate, someone who's really confident. But on the negative side of the King of Wands, it talks about the person being controlling, hot tempered, self-centered, and, you know, very protective. So I feel like you could be in a state of dealing with, I don't want to say a narcissist, but the, it is kind of like a narcissist, narcissistic feeling, um, someone who's very abusive. So if that's you, you know, I would just cautious you, caution you to really do what you need to do to get yourself into a safe place. Um, because there is someone in your environment who, I mean, you can just tell by looking at his face. He's kind of scary. So usually I don't really aim towards the face much, but he is kind of really scaring me because he's very like, you know, your mind type energy, like your mind, no one's going to have you. So I don't know if that's what you're dealing with, but if you are just be cautious and try to get yourself into a safer place. All right. So moving along, I feel like you guys have been over or enduring obstacles and I feel like with the chariot coming on it's just saying you know what you have gone through a lot and you overcame those obstacles you overcame those challenges you are better now than you've been in a long time you have that control back into your life you know it took a lot of willpower and hard work but you're focused on where you're going and it's like now is the time to go for what you truly want you know stop putting everyone else's needs ahead of yours areas and start putting your needs as number one because ten of cups is right after that you, your family is happy or hopefully happy, but everything seems all as well. Like the 10 of cups, that's, that's family, that's stability, that's, you know, commitments, that's reunions, gatherings, abundance. There's so many coming up quite a bit of times, but I feel like it's, everything is coming together into your world. And it's kind of, you're being in this place of, wow, like I haven't felt this much peace and harmony in so long. And I'm so grateful that it's here. Especially with Christmas coming through, I feel like you could be, you know, gathering the whole family together and maybe you haven't had a Christmas where you've had like the whole family together. So it's kind of like, like nice, you know, walking down memory lane feeling coming in for me for you guys, but that's awesome. You know, and we leave off the wheel card, guys. So this just tells me that, you know what, good luck is here. You know, yes, you've ended some cycles that were really hard and you know, the soulmates card, the soulmate thing keeps coming up for me, but it's like the universe is working in your favor. So even though it doesn't, it might not feel like you're on the right track. You guys are totally on the right track. Changes are here. Good karma is here. Destiny is here. Cycles are ending. You have so many chances right now. And I feel like all is truly freaking well, like it will be by the, by the end of December. 
It was only for the first half of December, but I feel like once I get into the second half, I'll know a little bit more about what's going to be happening with you guys. But for the first half of December, I feel like it's just, it's just, it's just pushing through. All right, guys. So your card for this says between worlds. Transitions not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness, no man's land. The Oracle message. Between the world is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yet yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surface surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the cur curious eyes of a child Glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. Relationship message. This is a time to explore the new energy between you and another. It is not a moment for certainty, but rather for discovery and curiosity. You don't yet know if this will last forever, so allow yourself to explore who you are and what is reflected back to you. This relationship is meant to educate you about yourself, what you need, what you like or dislike. What values are important to you? You are in a critical phase of your relationship that is not to be dismissed or hurried. All right. So that is what I have for you guys for December 1st to 16th. Aries, you guys take care of yourself. Keep your eyes on my channel as your second half is coming out, hopefully by the end of this week. With that, send you guys all love and light. Take care, and I'll see you guys again soon.